in rural areas, people whom we don't hear from have been besieged by the war. They've been besieged by airstrikes. In 2019, the United States carried out more airstrikes in Afghanistan than in any previous year of the war. And at the same time, you're having heavy civilian losses from the Taliban and this ongoing fight. So in many rural areas, there was a lot of support for this war to just end. Most American media coverage about Afghanistan focuses on urban centers and the rural countryside, which admittedly is harder to access, it's more dangerous to operate. We very rarely hear from people in these areas, but they've suffered some of the highest civilian losses and human costs of this war. And soldiers who have suffered heavy losses in the war against the Taliban. Heavy losses despite incredible, massive U.S. air support. If Afghan soldiers are now aware that they're not going to have that level of air support, for many it means certain death. Education continued to be the one thing that was touted as a success in a war that had been largely deemed lost by many. And so I went to go see, well, if this is a success, I'd like to document that, I'd like to understand it. And what I found was ghost schools across the country, more than 1,100 of them. I found that U.S. funded schools were crumbling in many places. 10% of them had either never been completed or no longer existed. rural parts of Kandahar, you could talk to people who would have the most outrageous tales of abuse at the hands of his forces. People who were accused of being Taliban without any evidence and then tortured. In many of these rural areas, they didn't trust or feel represented by many of these Afghan forces that were engaging in really incredible human rights abuses. So For years, U.S. actions and Afghan forces operations in the ground and the fight against the Taliban have taken enormous civilian lives. We truly don't even know the full extent of the cost. There are also many people who've been targeted and killed by the Taliban. There are so many people who partnered with the Americans whom the United States could have worked to get out of the country faster and sooner were being left behind. People who face serious threats. You see women and girls not just fearing for their livelihoods and their careers, but for their lives themselves. Even though the kinds of costs that are being experienced are not equal, across Afghanistan, people have had to confront, live with this reality of war every single day. <laughs>